got everything put back together last night with Norbert's help. Got it to where the truck starts and runs. Well, runs. So, uh, started filling the transmission with fluid. Got about five and a half to six quarts into it. And it wouldn't fill anymore, of course, because that's all it takes for it starts running through the system. Started the truck and started shifting through gears. Trying to shift through gears. Nothing would ever happen. Drive line wouldn't turn. You could hear the engine load up like it's trying, but there's no output to the drive shaft. Uh, tried to put some more fluid in it, see if it would take any more after being started. It wouldn't. And then, of course, my pump transfer pump filled up. Failed too, so I got another one of those coming tomorrow. Um, it's Saturday night. Been helping Dad today. I come out here and start the truck up and see if the transmission will warm up. Maybe it'll suck some fluid into it. And maybe it's just not driving because the fluid's not, doesn't have enough fluid in it. So, trans temp is currently 66 degrees, 67 according to the tuner. But I'm gonna sit here and let it run and idle and park and see what happens. See if it'll suck some fluid into it. Um, it did throw a couple codes yesterday after trying to make it shift and stuff I don't remember what they were off the top of my head something to do with the uh, speed not being what it expects to see uh, I think it has something to do with the uh, wheel speed sensor and the transmission gearing to engine RPM that it should be seeing and it's not seeing what it should but it will pop into I don't want that it will pop into driving you can hear the difference on the brake when I remove my foot I get that every single time um, put my foot back on the brake shift to park let's go back to neutral to reverse rather put off the brake I can go all the way down to manual first gear same thing get a second see if I can't get it to even an inch work does it so you can tell it's loading up the engine but it's not actually sending power to the transmission so I'm gonna let it run for a minute see if the transmission will warm, warm up any at all despite the fact that it's not even in drive or anything and see what the fluid level is like underneath it as well so we'll come back in a minute Courtney was outside with us last night hanging out for a while me and Norbert worked on the truck kids are grandparents this weekend so it's gonna be a not relaxing but quieter weekend for a few days uh, but right now she's down here in the garage basement side spazzing about a bug at the moment <laughs> but she's gonna go through some totes that we have down here for some blankets and stuff just found a couple old photo albums of myself uh <laughs> let's see if any of y'all know who that is i doubt you do right now I don't know who that one is. but he's on youtube as well but um she's down here looking for some blanket stuff you said it's for hurricane for um the helene relief yeah there was a children's home that was destroyed that's right so they've got nothing so they've we've already done some clothes and toys mm -hmm. That we had laying around that we don't use anymore um stuff that's too small for the kids stuff toys they don't play with uh they'll be going to our son's daycare monday morning well no they got some friday we took some friday so we took some friday they'll be getting some blankets and some more stuff monday when we drop him off in the morning um we can't do a whole lot right now we're you know title money you know kind of deal with going on with the transmission while it's doing it the way it is but we do what we can, donate some stuff. Um, it's been sitting down here a while, we obviously don't use it. So it helps us clean it out and it helps somebody else that needs it. So she's working on that tonight. All right, I got the wrench to pop up. 
Let's see what we got. Oh seven three one. Gear one incorrect ratio is what it's calling for. So 0731, defective gear one, whatever. Uh, some Google results, defective speed sensor, valve body. Shouldn't be a defective valve body. It's a brand new valve body that was put in the transmission before Norbert decided to buy a whole other transmission to swap in to his truck. So the valve body should be fine, should be that. Uh, internal transmission failure shouldn't be that. All the codes he had for his transmission were for the torque converter. Um, dirty transmission fluid that restricts hydraulic passages, that shouldn't be an issue because it's brand new fluid and there was no dirt in the uh, pan area when I pulled the pan off and cleaned the pan. And I made sure there's no dirt fell into it when I was cleaning it. Low transmission fluid level, we already know that's an issue, but it's not sucking transmission fluid in currently. I'm getting on the truck, so I can check the foot level and see what uh see if it sucked any in maybe it has trans temp is only 68 degrees so it's only gone up two degrees since I started the truck probably five minutes ago but we're going to check the trans fluid level anyway and see what happens all right so Ford was genius sarcasm and that's the transmission dipstick. It makes the exhaust. And if you know anything about cars, you check transmission fluid with the vehicle running and the transmission hot. Well, that means the exhaust is hot. Anyway, get your head. Not drop it. Make sure you don't pick up dirt. Hold it. Really weird way. And get it in the hole. They shouldn't have the solenoid shift pattern program issue with this in, with this transmission. I think they got rid of it in 2010 or 2011. That might be something I have to try though. But we're gonna let it warm up for a little longer and see what happens. All right, so I just had a revelation. Um, I was reading the causes and stuff, trying to figure out what could be causing it, ways to fix it for that uh, error code, the 0731. And it clicked in my head. Dirty fluid, dirty filter. Dirty filter. No, that filter. I don't think there's a filter in this transmission. I don't think, and Norbert can, is certain as well that when he was taking this out, he didn't put the filter back in it for his old filter when he put the new filter and the new transmission he got. And I seem to remember being able to see the entire valve body when I was tapping and threading that hole that was stripped. Helicoiling, helicoiling, heli, heli, helicoiling the stripped hole in the in the uh, transmission body for the oil pan. So I'm going to see if I can get my pump to work well enough to suck out as much of that fluid as I can, so I don't have to try and dump it into a pan and catch it all. And I'm gonna pull this pan off and see if there's a filter in it, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. And if I'm correct, I'm gonna pull the filter out of my transmission, put it in here, bolt everything back together, fill it back with fluid if I can, and try this again and hopefully that'll fix the issue. Let's go do this. I'm excited now. It might be a easy fix for a stupid mistake. Let's go. Alright, the 
pump's working. It stopped pumping last night. It was still running, but it wasn't pumping. I'm taking that as a sign that I was supposed to stop working on it last night and figure out what I forgot to do. I just pumped out probably about five quarts, a little more than five quarts. And we put in about five and a half to six. I've got enough fluid that even if I don't put a clean catch pan under here and I spill it all, I should have plenty of fluid to fill this thing up completely. I'm gonna double check that. Full pan's coming off next.